Well, hello world. That's <laughs> me again. Just out here with my pup. Yeah. The family pup. This is Lilo to everybody that doesn't already know. And, uh, yeah. Um, I wanted to, to put a little shout out there to anybody that, um, has any youth groups or anything like that or that might be interested in me coming to talk about my life's journey to God and and the military and all those other things and, and stuff like that I think I have a good good um, good message to put out there and I would really like to speak to the youth groups and stuff like that so if you you are somebody out there that's trying to spread the good God's good word and uh, you want somebody that um, is truly a, a sinner that's been saved, um, maybe give me a shout out or um, maybe we get together somehow. And um, I was thinking about this 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 story. <laughs> And, um, um, I was in, um, I was in Iraq and, um, you know what, we'll leave that one for another one, because that, uh, goes on for about a story. I'm going to tell you a story about, um, this time where I was in Okinawa, Japan, and this is, um, I think 96, maybe. It might have been later, and um, I was an NMC before, Naval Mobile Construction Battalion, for any of you guys that don't know what that is, and we were in Okinawa, Japan, and uh, a big typhoon was coming in, and uh, me and my boy, S.A., were, uh, were making these, these dump runs with an old five-ton smoker from World War II. <laughs> And uh, if you don't know what that is, uh, look it up sometime. The old five tons and a deuce and a half with the Danas and amazing trucks. And uh, we were still using those in, in the 90s and in, into the 2000s. And we're coming back from White Beach. And we're getting rid of a bunch of um, spoil because they're doing a huge underground water pipe, water line for the base out at White Beach. And White Beach was basically not even really a base, it was just like a, a little annex where the, um, the Marines would do um, beach ops for um, Marine land, landing craft and stuff like that. It's pretty cool. Anyways, um, beautiful place. Um, if you've never been to Japan and you'd like to go, um, I would suggest going to Okinawa first and getting your feet wet because um, there still is a lot of military from Vietnam there too. And uh, anyways, so we're driving back and it's pouring down rain and the wind's going. And these trucks are old and um, we lose um, we lose our we lose our brakes. Not really. They're, and we're way overloaded because we're trying to get a lot done in a little bit of time with a very small dump truck. Um, and it's overloaded and it's pouring down rain and you got a windshield that is um, really not that big at all. And it's it's old school and you got these little air actuated windshield wipers uh, that you have to turn on above your head. And you have a cloth roof. And... <laughs> those windshield wipers go out but they fold the windows fold out and me and that's there and i'm trying to drive and we're in only thing we got left is second gear and we're going down this steep hill in okinawa and it's pouring down rain and i can't see a thing and i say crawls out of the out of the out the window from his side and he's the windshield wiper had fallen off at this time because they were famous for doing that. Cause, and uh, he's basically just wiping in front of the the windshield. <laughs> she don't care. And it's crazy because um, 
he's screaming and yelling, we're laughing, you know, it's dangerous, like, and I'm controlling everything with just the fact that we're low range gears and it takes us, what would normally take me 15 minutes to drive back to base, uh, camp, um, is it, is it Camp Shields? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Camp Shields in Okinawa. It's been so long since I've been there, and I'm not, I'm not good with names, but... And, uh... We get back, and, um... The typhoon's almost on us, and... It's... To this day, me and S.A. talk about that still sometimes, and how crazy it was, and... I was just hanging out on the front of the windshield in the middle of a typhoon in Okinawa, Japan... And in the 90s and uh crazy this is uh we get back to the base and um they're like where the heck have you been because it's taking out two hours which would normally take at the most 30 minutes with traffic and everything like that and they're buttoning down everything and we basically turn around um turn around and then start helping out getting everything battened down everything inside that we can possibly get inside live storage is is you know made even tighter to fit everything and all the garages and everything and anything else like that we don't and uh yeah it was it was good times and this whole time we just did it with a smile and most people would have just shut their pants and crashed you know but um, I just low geared it and um, used my brain, you know. And whereas it wasn't fun, uh, we came through it all right. And we both have um, journeyed our own way to where we're at now. And my buddy SA, shout out to him, he's uh, truly an amazing dude. Annoying as hell sometimes. I'm from Jersey, not from New York, but. It's definitely, um, God was looking out for us that day, and to us it was fun, because although there wasn't a war going on at that time, um, we took our job very seriously at the same time, we had a shitload of fun, so, um, if there's anybody out there that, that needs... Need some good stories to tell to some kids to make it. You want to understand how you can help defend this country's freedoms and believe in God in the most weirdest way. Um, give a shout out, or maybe not. I don't know. It's uh, a good time. Wrap up. Yeah, I know, baby. Oh, look at those blue eyes. Yeah, she's a she's a crazy one. She is. She's a little shivery out here, but she didn't want to stay inside. So, God bless world. One love, one race under him. The human race for all you racists out there. And uh, yeah, God bless to you too. Y'all have a good day, and I'll talk to you later.